David Wowie from Another Eden Adventures. How you doing? I signed up to Another Eden's most expensive subscription service, The Guide of the Heavens, for three months straight so I can give you an honest review. Is it worth paying for? Here's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. These vids take a while to make, so thanks for your support. Also, if you're on any of the subscription packages or have your own thoughts about them, feel free to share them below. So what are another Eden subscription packages? At this point in time, there are two packages. Guide of Heavens, which is the premium, more expensive package, and Guide of Land, which is like a budget Guide of Heavens from Wish. As you can see by this table, Guide of Land shares some similar benefits to Guide of Heavens, but not all of them. Guide of Heavens costs $53.99 per month, I'm talking in Australian dollars here, and Guide of Land is much cheaper at $8.49 Australian dollars per month. Another Eden offers both of these subscriptions for free for a first trial month, so even if you're flat broke, you can sign up to the free trial, get a bunch of free units, and then cancel by the end of the month. What's included in Guide of Heavens? Firstly, you get one Celestial Spark ticket once a month. What is a Celestial Spark ticket? When looking at paid banner pools, you may have noticed that you can either use 1,000 paid Chrono Stones for the pools or one spare Celestial Spark ticket for the pools. In Australia, the monthly promotional price for 1,100 paid Chrono Stones is $37.99. So if all you want is one guaranteed 5 star unit from a banner pool per month, Buying 1,100 paid Chronostones instead of the Guide of Heavens is clearly the cheaper and smarter option. But if you want the smartest option or the cheapest option, don't bloody buy anything. I'm serious. But that's not all you get from the Guide of Heaven subscription. The next is you get a 7 stars piece every 3 months. The 7 stars piece lets you choose 7 units that you really want and then the game will randomly pick one unit out of those seven to give you. This is very useful for people who don't have many units yet, but may not be worthwhile for veteran gamers who have most, if not all, the units already. Because if you're just missing one or two units, there's a chance of you pulling a unit you already have. On the plus side, if you pull a dupe unit, you'll get an extra 16 light or shadow points for that unit, which could take phenomenal amounts of gameplay and luck to get otherwise. I've linked my full guide on light and shadow farming in the description below, just for you baby. The good news is you get to use a 7 stars piece on your first trial month. So if you haven't, you can do so already. And if you don't want to pay, just remember to cancel your subscription once the month is over. Once again, if you choose to pay for the subscription, you will only get to activate the seven star piece once every three months. The next thing you get is the Trials of Heaven, which to me has been one of the most useful features of the subscription so far. The Trials of Heaven are essentially a list of what in my opinion are some pretty basic tasks which appear in the awards section. As you can see here on my screen, I have the Trials of a Warrior, which just require you to win a bunch of battles for Chronostones. You also see tasks like Ground, Trial of Warrior. The details button means I can only participate in these trials if I've signed up to the cheaper Guide of Land subscription, but it shows you what rewards you can receive for your reference. If we scroll down a bit to Trials of Cultivation, this is where it gets interesting. By finishing these trials, like this one, I get 5 light or shadow points that I can give to my unit, or this trial of progress where I can give 10 light or shadow points to a unit. In my personal opinion, this is where I've gotten the most value out of these subscriptions. So in the 3 months of this trial, I've been able to give a bunch of light points to 2 of my current favourite units, Ava and Flamelopis. As I hinted earlier, getting even just one light point for a gacha unit like Eva takes painful amounts of effort and luck, but this makes it easier. But in saying that, let's say you have a unit that starts with 16 light points and you want to use the God of Heaven subscription to get them to 255 light points. If the subscription gives you 15 light points per month, it will take you approximately 
15 to 16 months just to max them out. Just to make things realistic for you, another Eden is constantly pumping out newer and more powerful units. So by the time you get the benefits of the unit you give these light points to, there are probably a handful of units that will be far more superior to the unit you've been spending 15 months and close to $1,000 to build up under a subscription. The next thing you get are the Trials of Adventure where you win Meow Coins. These Meow Coins can let you dress your cat up. It's not really my cup of tea, but if you're into it, hey, no judgment here. This may be great for you. And that's it for the trials. Next you get another dungeon insurance, which lets you keep the rewards you've obtained from a dungeon even if you quit prematurely or can't beat the boss. This is useful if a dungeon gets too hard or you simply want to leave for whatever reason but don't want to lose everything you've earned in that dungeon so far. Next you get key card plus. One big problem for a lot of you in the community is that you don't get enough key cards for your dungeon runs in a day. At this point in time, I get 11 green key cards and 7 red key cards. By the way, from what I've heard, there is an update coming where everyone, even those without subscriptions, will get a slight increase of key cards. So that's something to be aware of. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. What's useful with the subscription though is the key card restock feature which lets you restock your cards as they start to run out. The number of cards you can restock and how often you're allowed to restock them depend on your subscription. I've pasted the info and guidelines here for your reference because if I read them out I'll just confuse myself and put you all to sleep. Next we have second chance. If you get beaten in the game, second chance allows you to continue fighting without having to use your chronostones a limited number of times. You get to use second chance two times per month if you've subscribed to the Guide of Heavens and three times if you've subscribed to both Land and Heavens. I think for the amount of money you're paying, this is a bit of a cop out. I get that they still want the game to be challenging, but even if you get beaten on the free version of another Eden, you can just close the app and reopen it again. So why not just give you more than two second chances? The last benefit you get from the subscription is the fact that you get to skip ads. To be honest, for a while I kind of missed watching the State of Survival ads and all those other random ads. Before the subscription, I'd usually put on the ad, do something like brush my teeth, do a couple push-ups, and then get the rewards for watching the ads. But once I got the subscription, there were no more ads to make fun of, and I felt kind of empty inside, man. What am I? Is this me? My true self? My fake self? What is it that I am? <laughs> after some time though, I really enjoyed the benefit of it, especially after long days when I just want to quickly get my free crawler stones before going to bed. So what is the verdict? Would I recommend you subscribing to the Guide of Heavens? I'll give you a few reasons as to why you shouldn't, why you should, and if I'm personally going to be paying this much every month. Here's the first reason I'd say no. You're paying a considerable amount of money every month for a game that's essentially free. What I love about Another Eden is that it lets you become extremely powerful in the game without needing to pay a cent. There's countless evidence on YouTube where you can beat even the most powerful bosses with free units and although it's gotcha, there's still a chance to get lucky. Anyone following me will know I was able to pull Claude ES, Radius AS and Alma lately without spending a cent. There's also that great feeling of accomplishment you get knowing you beat a super boss or max out a unit's light and shadow points without having to pay your way to victory. So if you have a lot of time on your hands and want to play a JRPG with an amazing story, amazing characters and amazing challenges for hundreds of hours for absolutely free, it makes no sense to get a subscription. You can literally be one of the luckiest gamers in the world to play an absolute masterpiece of a game absolutely free. You just need to put in the time and effort. And if you want to support the developers, you can do so without paying money. Just keep playing the game, keep watching the ads, give the game a 5 star review on the App Store. Now let's do some real talk. This subscription is $53.99 Australian per month. You can buy several games per month with that kind of money. Or you can keep that money and start saving for a Switch or a PlayStation 5. Better yet, improve your life with that money. If you're single and you want to mingle, if you're overweight, change your lifestyle. Buy some dumbbells, watch some good workout videos, do some martial arts, eat healthier, start a business, do whatever. I could afford this subscription because all the other stuff in my life is in order. 
So if there are things in your life that are lacking, I'd say put your time and money into that before putting money in this game. Here's another reason I wouldn't subscribe. If all you want is to unlock your favorite five-star unit once in a while, I would say no. Every so often, another Eden will release a Star Dream Encounter where for 1,000 paid chronostones, you can choose to get any unit in the game you want. So why would you pay for the subscription? If you think any of the features I mentioned in this video are worth paying $53.99 per month for, then why not? If you are time poor but have extra cash to burn, then why not? If the team on another Eden were listening to this video, I'd like to personally request adding some value to the subscription to make it more worthwhile for people. I get that another Eden still wants the game to be a great game for free to play players and doesn't want to give paid players too much of an advantage. Maybe make it easier to get a 5 star unit we want, or give us more light and shadow points per month, or give us some unique side quests, or even like a discord group where we can chat with the developers and have exclusive invites to Japan events and merch releases, something that will make it feel like we're getting way more than we're paying for. Because at the moment I'm having to really justify why I'm on the subscription when I can get much more value from other games or other subscriptions like their PlayStation Plus store subscriptions. Anyway, that's it for me. If I missed anything, let me know. Would you sign up for the Guide of Heaven subscription or are you already on it and want to share your thoughts? Comment below, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Much love. See you at the next video.